I just wanted to see if there was any way this could possibly happen because since I was a little kid, it's always been my dream to play football. Good evening and happy Friday, everyone. I'm Stacy Van Dyke. And I'm Justin Betty. High school football, of course, gets everyone excited, but tonight was an extra special evening for a high school student and the whole Frazee community. Valley News team's Kellen Harmon shows us how an expected play touched the hearts of many. The cheering started early in Frazee. As students and townspeople packed the streets for the annual homecoming parade. But this celebration means more for one of their own. It means a lot to me to, I'm sorry. It means a lot to me to have this experience, to be able to do this with guys I've grown up with. Senior Carson Manival always dreamed of gearing up for the gridiron. About two weeks ago, Carson Manival had uh, reached out to me and uh, Coach Hackle was asking if there was a way he could be involved in our homecoming game this year. Carson was born with cerebral palsy, but he doesn't let it hold him back. He wasn't sure his dream of suiting up would ever happen. In his senior year, homecoming day, we were willing to make anything work to get him on the field. Carson was given the chance to wear the hometown colors and be part of the homecoming game. God, getting those pads on and standing out on that field is going to be a whole other world for me, I'll tell you that much. Hey, if I touch the football good, if there's any way I could get in the end zone, that'd be just the dream come true for me. Carson and the team stepped off the bus and into the Friday night lights. I get the chance to be one of the guys with the boys. Receive. Good call. One of the guys that got to do something that not everyone does. With the support from the community and his friends, taking him all the way. Carson not only crossed the goal line, but crossed into Hornet history. That sacrifice, they're willing to give up something for the benefit of another. So that, that's what's been great to see about this group of young men. And for Carson and the Frazee community, the touchdown meant more than a number on a scoreboard. I'd just like to say thank you to all of them. I mean, it's just those two words don't say enough about the things these people do for me every day. In Frazee. Kellen Harmon, Valley News Live. The cheering. Oh my gosh, what a great story. Frazy High, get this, has lost their last three games against Underwood, but tonight the coach called Carson their lucky charm. They won 43-0. to zero. And stay tuned for high school football highlights from across the region on Friday Night Live in just a little bit. But first, let's talk about the weather for the